All right, so here's the deal. Everyone, and I mean, is talking about hydroponic farming. You see these incredible pictures online, these futuristic setups, and you hear whispers of it being the next big thing, the future of agriculture, a one-way ticket to financial freedom by growing plants without soil. But let me tell you, I've seen a lot of next big things come and go, and it's not always as straightforward as it looks. The big question on everyone's mind, and probably yours if you clicked on this video, is this, everyone says hydroponic farming is the future, but is it a gold mine or a money pit? Let's break it down before you invest, because trust me, you need to understand what you're getting into. What's up everybody, it's Atabika Melody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're not just scratching the surface, we're going deep. We'll dive into the real pros and cons of starting a hydroponic farming business. I'm talking about the nitty-gritty, the actual costs you can expect, the potential profits or losses, and how productive these systems are. We're going to look at this from all angles, whether you're just thinking about a small, maybe even a backyard setup to grow some fresh veggies for yourself and maybe sell a little on the side, or if you're dreaming bigger, aiming for a full-blown commercial farm. So grab a coffee, get comfortable, and make sure you stay till the end for the full picture, because you won't want to miss any of this. This isn't just about growing plants, it's about growing A. And like any business, there are upsides that can make you a ton of money, and downsides that can well drain your bank account faster than a leaky nutrient tank. We're gonna cover the exciting stuff like potentially higher yields and premium prices, but we're also gonna hit the tough topics, the startup costs that can make your eyes water, the daily grind of managing these complex systems, and the very real possibility that it might take a lot longer than you think to see a return on your investment. My goal here is to give you the unvarnished truth so you can make an informed decision. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick things off with one of the biggest, most attractive promises of hydroponic farming, high productivity per square foot. Hydroponics can deliver 20 to 30% higher yields than traditional soil farming in the same area. In hydroponics, you're delivering those nutrients directly to the roots in a highly controlled manner. This means you can often pack plants closer together, especially with vertical farming setups. Imagine being able to grow significantly more lettuce, herbs, or tomatoes without needing to acquire more land. Some crops can mature quicker in a hydroponic system compared to soil, meaning you can get more harvest cycles in per year. This faster turnover is crucial for cash flow, which, as any business owner knows, is king. This increased productivity isn't just a fluke, it's a result of optimized growing conditions. Next up, let's talk about something that's becoming increasingly critical globally, water. One of the standout environmental and economic benefits of hydroponics is its incredible water efficiency. The claim is that you'll use up to 90% less water compared to soil farming. Hydroponic systems are often closed loop or recirculating. This means the water enriched with nutrients is delivered directly to the plant roots, and any excess isn't just lost, it's typically collected and reused. This significant reduction in water usage can translate directly into lower long-term operational costs. By cutting that down by such a large percentage, you're freeing up capital that can be used elsewhere in the business. This efficiency is a core strength of hydroponic technology, allowing for food production in arid regions or places where water conservation is paramount. All right, let's move on to another massive advantage, and this one is all about consistency and cash flow year-round growing. One of the biggest limitations of traditional soil-based farming is its dependence on the seasons. But with hydroponics, particularly in controlled environment agriculture, CEA setups like greenhouses or indoor vertical farms, you can essentially tell Mother Nature to take a vacation. Controlled environments allow for consistent production regardless of season, that's continuous revenue for your business. By controlling temperature, humidity, light, using grow lights, and even CO2 levels, you create the perfect unchanging summer day for your plants, 365 days a year. This means you're not at the mercy of unseasonal frosts, droughts, or prolonged cloudy periods that can devastate outdoor crops. This ability to produce consistently throughout the year has a profound impact on your business model. This consistency is a cornerstone of building a stable and scalable hydroponic farming business. Now, let's talk about the money you can actually make from selling these high-tech plants. A significant allure of hydroponic farming is the potential for premium pricing. 
It's often touted that hydroponic produce can sell for 20 to 50% higher prices compared to conventionally grown items. Because you're controlling the nutrient intake so precisely, you can often grow produce that is more flavorful, has a better texture, and boasts a longer shelf life. Furthermore, a lot of hydroponic produce is marketed as pesticide-free or locally grown. Since many systems are enclosed and don't use soil, the risk of pests and diseases is lower, reducing or even eliminating the need for pesticides. The locally grown angle is another powerful marketing tool. Hydroponic farms can be set up in urban areas, close to consumers. This farm-to-table freshness is something people are willing to pay more for. Let's delve into another significant operational advantage. Lower disease and pest risks. With traditional soil farming, the soil itself is a natural habitat for a vast array of pests, fungi, and bacteria, many of which can be detrimental to crops. Hydroponics sidesteps many of these issues because, well, there's no soil. This reduction in pest and disease pressure means you're likely to experience less crop loss. The reduced need for chemical interventions is a massive plus. This cleaner growing environment also contributes to healthier plants overall. Alright, we've talked a lot about the good stuff, the shiny benefits of hydroponics. Now, it's time to get real about the other side of the coin, and we're starting with a big one. The high startup costs. There's no sugarcoating this. Getting a commercial hydroponic operation off the ground can require a significant upfront investment. We're talking figures that can range anywhere from $10,000 for a very small, perhaps hobbyist level plus setup, to well over $100,000, and even into the millions, for large-scale, technologically advanced commercial farms. This initial capital outlay is often the biggest hurdle for aspiring hydroponic farmers. You've got the physical infrastructure. If you're not using an existing building, you might need to construct a greenhouse or retrofit a warehouse. Then there are the hydroponic systems themselves, whether it's nutrient film technique, NFT, deep water culture, DWC, drip systems, or aeroponics, each comes with its own set of components like grow trays, channels, reservoirs, pumps, and plumbing. These systems need to be engineered correctly to function efficiently and reliably, and that expertise costs money. So, you've made the hefty investment and your shiny new hydroponic system is installed. Now comes the next challenge complex system management. This is not a plant it and forget it type of farming. Hydroponic systems are sophisticated and they require a keen understanding of plant science, water chemistry and a bit of engineering to keep them running smoothly. You'll need to constantly monitor and adjust several critical parameters to ensure your plants are not just surviving, but thriving. One significant mistake in managing these parameters could, quite literally, wipe out an entire crop which is a terrifying prospect when you've invested so much. This level of management requires a certain skill set. You either need to acquire this knowledge yourself through research, courses and hands-on experience, which involves a learning curve and potential for costly mistakes early on, or you need to hire someone with that expertise which adds to your labor costs. The stakes are high because hydroponic plants are entirely dependent on the system you provide. Following on from complex system management is the sheer time and labor intensity involved in running a hydroponic business. If you're picturing yourself setting up the system and then kicking back while the plants magically grow themselves and the money rolls in, I'm afraid you're in for a rude awakening. Running a hydroponic farm, especially a commercial one, isn't a set and forget operation. It demands constant attention, daily checks, and the ability to respond immediately to system alerts or any signs of trouble. This is a hands-on business, through and through. Your daily routine will likely involve a comprehensive system check. Okay, so you've mastered the system, you're producing beautiful high-quality crops. Now you need to sell them, and that brings us to market competition and the challenges of scaling. While it's true that hydroponic produce can command premium prices, you're not going to be the only one with that idea. The hydroponics industry is growing, and with that growth comes increased competition. To stand out and succeed, you can't just grow great produce. You also need a solid marketing strategy and a plan for how you'll scale your business effectively, which often means, you guessed it, more investment. Simply having hydroponic on your label isn't always enough anymore, especially in markets where consumers are becoming more familiar with it. You need to differentiate yourself. What makes your produce special? Is it your unique crop varieties? Your specific growing practices? Your commitment to sustainability beyond just water savings?
Finally, let's address the elephant in the room for any business venture, the return on investment, or ROI. With all the potential benefits of hydroponics like higher yields and premium prices, it's easy to assume that profits will start flowing in quickly. However, the reality is that even with optimal management and strong sales, it can take a significant amount of time to break even, let alone start making substantial profits. We're generally looking at a time frame of two to five years to recoup your initial investment, and this can vary widely depending on the scale of your operation, your initial costs, your operational efficiency, and your management skills. Think about that high startup cost we discussed earlier. If you've invested, say, $50,000 or $100,000 to get your commercial system up and running, you need to sell a lot of lettuce, herbs, or tomatoes at a good margin just to cover that initial outlay, even before you start talking about ongoing operational costs like electricity, nutrients, labor, and packaging. Every dollar of profit you make in the early years is essentially going towards paying back that initial investment. This requires patience and a long-term perspective. So, after diving deep into the world of hydroponic farming, looking at everything from the incredible productivity and water savings to the hefty startup costs and the daily grind of system management, what's the bottom line? Is hydroponic farming a gold mine or a money pit? Well, like so many things in business, the answer is, it depends. It really comes down to you, your resources, your dedication, and your specific goals. It's definitely not a guaranteed path to riches, but it's also not an automatic failure. Let's sum it up. Hydroponic farming can be perfect for entrepreneurs who are genuinely passionate about innovative farming methods, who care about sustainability, and crucially, who are willing to put in the effort to learn the complexities of these systems and manage them diligently. If you're excited by the technology, enjoy problem solving, and are prepared for the hands-on work, then the potential rewards, like high-quality premium-priced produce and a more stable year-round income, can be very attractive. However, it's absolutely not ideal for those expecting instant profits with minimal effort, or for individuals who lack the time or inclination to meticulously monitor and manage the system day in and day out. If you're looking for a passive investment or a get-rich-quick scheme, this ain't it. So, is starting a hydroponic farming business a smart move? It certainly can be, if you go in with your eyes wide open.